Hey guys, good morning. This is a continuation of my vine borer video. So in my last video, I showed you guys how I found some vine borers and my squash plants and pumpkin plants and zucchini plants. And I had to do some research on how to get rid of them. I was able to remove some of them, but I also found a lot of entryways into the actual main vein of the vine where I couldn't pull anything out. I couldn't pull the little library out. So I'm taking some extra measures and I found a YouTube video that actually talks about using this chemical. And it is considered organic farming, dependent upon who you speak to about it. And it's called BT. So I'm gonna to talk to you a little bit about what I'm gonna do and show y'all. about is called BT. Uh, this is Thuricide and um, it's supposed to control caterpillars which is actually what those are. They're, they're worm caterpillar things, uh, the larvae. And typically you use this to spray on the plant but we're actually not going to do that at all. What we're going to do instead is I'm going to inject using this fluid injector for that you use for chickens or turkey meat or something like that. I'm going to actually inject this into the vine and the hope is that the grub will the larvae will eat it and once it eats it it'll kill it it will not harm the plant it will not harm the fruits of the plant and it won't harm anything surrounding the plant it's just going to be targeting those vine borers okay guys for those of you that missed my last video um see if you can see right here um this is the entryway that i'm talking about when you see stuff like this in your in your squash vines with that yellow residue and that hole that is evidence of a squash vine borer so that's what we're targeting today i found several on my plants and so it's time to take some action steps all right so i'm just mixing um, this little concoction i'm diluting it with water i've just followed the instructions on the bottle to make sure that i'm doing the correct measurements Okay, now I'm just going to fill my injector. Filled and I'm ready to go. Um, but I've also got the rest of my concoction here that I can come back and use if I need to. And I've got a bee that's kind of been following me around and I really don't want anything like that to get access to this. So I'm just going to cover that up. Here is a good example of a couple of different holes from these, from these vine borers. Um, this is the plant that I originally found them on, and the other side is where I caught uh, one of them. So what we want to do is we want to kind of move a couple of inches above the hole because the idea is, is that it's probably um, somewhere in this, this region right here. So I'm going to go ahead and start working on that. Because I see what could be some entryways here, I'm going to go ahead and start about here. A little tricky to do one-handed okay so what I've done is I have I have stuck it in to the vine and I'm just gonna inject a little bit in there I'm actually gonna also inject some in here just to be on the safe side in case it decided to go the other way I'm gonna check for some more spots. Here's another plant and there's some more evidence. And as you can see, um, that is the main vine. So not good. We're gonna to have to get in there and inject this one too. Here's another squash vine where the main vein has definitely been attacked. So I'm gonna work on this one a little bit more, but um, yeah, you can see right there. Actually, I think I see it in there. So let's see if I can't get some stuff right on it. Well guys, remember when I told you that if the vine borer made its way to the main vein of the stalk of the squash plant, you're in for some trouble. That's what happened here. Um, so it just broke off. You can see where the roots right there. So this is all of the plant that's coming off. Um, it's unfortunate. 
Oh, look at that. Completely rotted. So, um, because it has these things in here, I will not be composting this. I'll either be burning it or just throwing it away. I, these things can um, continue. If you put them in your compost, they're going to lay more eggs. You're going to continue to have the same problem. So, I'm pretty bummed out. The good news is, is that although it's small, this guy does still have some leaves and stuff. So, there is a possibility for a comeback. I just need to go ahead and cut all that nastiness off though. Well guys, that's one way that you can combat an infestation of squash vine borers in your garden. Um, another thing that you can do and something that I wasn't aware of is as a preventative, you can make sure that you mulch really good on the ground around the plant. That way that the moth can't lay their eggs. Um, I did have some mulch there. I think that with all the flooding and stuff, it kind of subsided. And then right after that happened, I went out of town for a three day business trip for work. And so wasn't able to really mulch like I probably should have. However, due to the damage that these guys have, the extent at which the, the vine borers have just, you know, taken out that one plant, I would say that they've probably been around for quite a while. So next year, I know to be more vigilant in my mulching prior to getting to this point. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll continue to update you on my progress on this. Hopefully I can save what's left of the rest of these guys and hopefully that zucchini plant bounces back. Anyways, have a great day and be blessed y'all.